Morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to part two of San Francisco. This is going to be after the stop sign. And uh, like I said in the first part, uh, it's a uh, long, well, this part is full of uh, long sweepers and it's mostly high speed. Um, but yeah, this part's, uh, this part's a good time. So yeah, let's check it out. All right, so once you leave the stop sign, uh, you're going to be climbing up this hill right here. Uh, it's kind of, you know, back and forth a little bit. And then it gets into um, more long high-speed sweepers. Um, now, the road quality on this part of San Francisco is much better than it is on the first one. It's a lot smoother here. Um, so those of you that are, you know, lowered with coilovers and, you know, high spring rates and all that, it's going to be way more comfortable for you on this part of the road than it is on the first part. Uh, so again, long sweepers, and you do have to be careful. Uh, some of them are sucker corners or decreasing radius corners. Um, so it can get you caught up. And again, I recommend you know going for your first time in the day. Um, not only so you can see this beautiful scenery, but so you can get a better feel for the road and kind of see what's around you. So this first corner here, well, not the first corner, but... This one here, it's got a slight surface change on it because there are two different uh, things of asphalt, but it doesn't upset the car too much. You can stay down on the inside and then you can kind of let the car float out a little bit to the double yellow. And you want to bring it back to the white and turn in a little bit later for this one. Got a cyclist here, hold on. So the speed limit on this road is 55. <coughs> <laughs> um, so then there's some straightaways here. We do have a couple cars in front of us. We'll back down a little bit. So this long straightaway, it does come up to a peak, and we're reaching that right now. Um, it is a little bit bumpy. They just repaved a lot of this, so uh, still kind of fresh asphalt, which is nice. Yeah, it's these long straightaways. Um, it is, there's little bumps to it, uh, so I would be cautious if you're deciding to break the speed limit. And then on this downhill bit, it's going to go a little bit to the left. And then you're going to reach another straightaway. These guys are going shooting. us they moving out of the way <clears throat> so again it's still high speed long sweepers uh, and you do want to be careful I don't think the GoPro is picking up but there are little little dips and bumps in the road so at a much higher speed it can upset the car which you need to be careful for <clears throat> so again another long straightaway uh, this one is a bit bumpier than that first one uh, but the advantage of this one is this one is a passing zone. So if you do need to get around somebody that's going slow, this is this is your time to do it right here. Uh, the rest of the road is entirely double yellow. Um, I think there might be one more passing zone a little bit further up, but um, this is your earliest passing zone on the entirety of the road. <clears throat> and again, they just repaved this part. Uh, it is still a little bit bumpy. Uh, and, uh, you know, the other thing about this road, it, it is quite buggy. Um, especially if you go at night, you're going to come back and you're going to have just a massacre of bugs on your uh, on your windshield and your front bumper. Uh, so if you notice, that was just a surface change right there. This is the older asphalt. Uh, it does get kind of bumpy on this point. There's a couple of rough patches in the, uh, in the surface. There's a big bump coming up right here, which again, you want to watch out for. And this is where it starts to slow down a little bit up here. So we're gonna, yeah, you're gonna want to back off a little bit, let it roll through the corner, and then kind of get back on the gas. You don't want to run out too wide because you will hit that armco, and uh, that's not good for anybody. So don't do that. stay out wide here and then cut in right about now and that is a surface change right there so be careful now the 
one nice thing about San Francisco, there are signs like that one that say dip and let you know that there is imperfections in the road, which could upset your car if uh, you're going fast enough. <clears throat> All right, we've caught up to a couple more cars here. But again, you know, this, this part of the road, uh, pretty steep uh, elevation change. Um, I didn't get the exact length of the road, but um, I think altogether it's it's like uh, 15, 16, 17 miles, somewhere in there. I'll have to uh, double check and put it up in post. So coming up to this section over here, um, my dad actually witnessed somebody roll over. Um, they were just going a little bit too fast, and they just overcooked the car into the corner, and uh, they, they rolled. So this section, it's a, it's a long left-hander. And then we're gonna come up to a uh, hairpin uphill uh, to the right. And on this direction, it is two lanes. So I'm actually gonna put it down into fourth here and see if I can pass these guys. So we'll stay on the inside here. And of course, this car is going much slower than the other car. You do want to hold your steering angle throughout this corner. It doesn't decrease radius or anything. It's a constant radius throughout the entirety of it with some cyclists. That is the other thing on this road. Um, if you do go early in the morning on, on a Sunday, uh, you are going to see cyclists. So that is something you do need to be careful of. Please, please, please do not hit any cyclists. So this part of the road, it is, you know, quick left, right, 45 degree angle corners. This one's a little bit of a sweeper and you're still, you're still climbing uphill at this point. We're going to come up to the pipe here. Now some of you might recognize this road uh, from a different video uh, and you would be right. This is, uh, we use this road in freedom for the, uh, first part with my uh, buddy Austin and his white 240SX Vert and my other buddy <clears throat> my other buddy Vince in his uh, copper Mazda 3 so the road starts to open up a little bit more here uh, this is your second passing zone which we are going to take advantage of right now which you do want to be careful of. And it does start to decrease downhill. And this is the part where you're going to want to start... You want to lift here, and then you want to dab the brakes just a little bit, depending on your speed. For some reason, my dad thinks this section is, uh, is like Eau Rouge in the spa in Belgium don't know why. <laughs> I can kind of see it, but uh, not really. So this starts to become a neighborhood in here, so you do want to start to slow it down just a bit. And the road quality does worsen in here. And here's another one of the uh, blind crests. It's down and to the right, past these trees. And again, it does start to tighten up in here. But uh, unfortunately, the road quality does just kind of go to shit in this course, in this uh, this section of the road. I want to slow down for this one. Car on the brakes. Let the car roll through that corner and then accelerate back up the hill. I'm going to stay out wide here. Come in a little bit. And lift. This is a little bit off camber on that corner, so you do want to be careful. If, you're, if you do, if you're carrying too much speed, uh, you will wash out wide, uh, especially in a front-wheel drive car. And then again, the speed limit slows down to 35 up here. You want to lift the car, float through this section, and then get back on the power right about here. And then this is, uh, this is, I think we're almost at the end of the road here. 
Uh, the road keeps going, um, but this is typically where, uh, where I stop. But overall, I really like this road. Um, the road quality, it, it changes, so some of it's really good, some of it's really poor. Um, overall, I would give the road quality a 7.5. Um, it's, it's really comfortable, and um, you know, no matter what kind of suspension you have on your car, whether it's stock or you know, you're on bags or, you know, static on coils, whatever, um, the road quality is just, you know, really nice for most part of it, um, and they're still trying to repave parts of it, um, so, you know, it'll, it'll get there where it's 100% repaved one day, but for now, it's, uh, they're still working on it. For overall difficulty, I'll, I'll give it a seven, it's, um, it is challenging, but it's, it's so rewarding when you get it right. Um, uh, fun, I give it, uh, I give it a seven. It's uh, it's really rewarding, and it's you know, it's just a really fun road to be on, especially you know when you're with buddies. Um, but when you're by yourself, um, you know, it's uh, it's a good time. Uh, so yeah, for San Francisco, I'm gonna give it a seven overall. I really enjoy this road. Um, it's really nice if you just wanna you know cruise and have a nice day out. Um, the weather is generally pretty nice on that road, um, and traffic for the most part is pretty low. Um, but when you do go early in the morning, there are cyclists, so please be careful. But yeah, that's both parts of San Francisco. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments what you liked, uh, anything that you think I can change. Um, subscribe to Millennial Motoring and check out some of our other videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.